QuickBooks Desktop 2024 Setup Sample Company File. Get ready and some coffee because we're locking into some non-stop QuickBooks Desktop 2024. Here we are on our desktop. We're going to be opening up QuickBooks Desktop, the enterprise version, as opposed to the pro version, which we downloaded in a prior presentation because we want to be experimenting with the new prepayment feature. So we're going to open this up. We're going to set up the sample company file that already has data in it, this being a file provided by Intuit the owner of QuickBooks. Before we do so, however, we want to just remember the relationship between the software and the data files as well as the backup files. So the data files have a relationship to the software on the desktop version similar to a Microsoft Word software and the Microsoft Word document. So we can have multiple Microsoft Word documents. That First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. It can be opened up by the Microsoft Word software. When we do so, however, we usually simply double-click on the actual icon of the document, which then opens the software, the document opening within the software. With QuickBooks, we usually double click on the software icon, which will then lead us to the last company file that we had open oftentimes. And if that's our only company file, that's the one we will use. But then if we wanna switch company files, we will switch while well within uh, the software. Also remember that backup files are different than the company files. That's gonna be a step different than our analogy with the Microsoft Word and the Microsoft Word documents. Because the data files are so large, then you might also want to make the zipped files, the backup files, which again are another kind of type of file. Okay, knowing that, let's double click on the software. It's going to be opening up over here. We've got uh, the software and we're going to, and, and this page uh, looks a little bit different if you're using like the sample company file. If you didn't have the sample company file, you'd have this box in the middle. You would still have the option to be opening up a, a sample company file, which is what we want to do. Also note that I'm a little zoomed in here. I'm doing that by going to my settings and I'm actually just going to uh, the display settings and zooming in on the screen to 150. I do that for presentational purposes, but some people might just like that when you're trying to adjust the size of the QuickBooks desktop uh, icons. We have then our options over here. I want to see a sample company file. That's the one we want. When we do this, we're gonna set up a new company file in essence. When you set up a new company file, I recommend that you actually have a folder set up to be putting it uh, into. In other words, I have this folder here. I'm not gonna put it on my desktop. Why? Because it creates not only one file, but a, a bunch of other kind of stuff sometimes. So it will clutter up your desktop quickly. Highly recommend not putting it on the desktop, but giving it its own folder that you're using specifically for the QuickBooks files so it doesn't get cluttered up. All right, so I want to see a sample company file. So it'll take a few minutes to download the sample file. Do you want to continue? I do. It didn't take much time at all. I'm going to look for the file on my computer on where I want to put it. I put a folder on my desktop. And what did I call it? I called it QuickBooks uh, desktop. Here it is. I put it on the desktop. So it's on the desktop and it's QuickBooks unearned revenue. That's the one that I want. And then it says sample company file. You could change the name if you have multi, you might make like this number one or two and so on. If you wanna change the name, if you're messing with multiple sample company files, that's the beauty of QuickBooks. Once we do this adjustment to it, you can always start over from the baseline by making another company file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. 
and it's going to download the file and there it's thinking so now it says it wants to update my company file if you plan to use this company file multiple users so i'm going to say yeah go ahead and update it quickbooks do what you got to do do what you got to do and then it says you're opening a quickbooks desktop sample file important use the sample file to practice while you learn quickbooks desktop that's just what we're doing don't use it as your company file uh, while you're using the file, QuickBooks Desktop will set today's date at 12.15 uh, as the, the date that's going to be today's date. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's do it. So there it is. The sample company file is set up. Now, if I want to close the sample company file and just test it out, you could go to the file tab over here. And we could uh, close the company file to see if I can get out of it and go back into it. Now, it has a little bit different screen than uh, because it goes back to this screen, right? Because we're in that 30-day trial. But if I go back on over here uh, and, I, and I say I put it in this folder, I think. So I'm going to locate it. Say, where did I put it? I highly recommend, especially with your actual company file, that you know where the company file is on your computer. Right, I, I, I could find it if I needed to. Right, so there it is. Notice it put this other junk in here. I didn't have anything in this folder and it put all this other kind of stuff in there. That's why you don't want it cluttered up with your documents folder or on the desktop because it starts to clutter things up even though I just have one company file in here and this is the main company file. Now, when I open the file then, I when I open this up again at a later point, for example, I could go in here and double click this file and it should open up the software and then the file but that's not typically the way most people will do it most people will will then open up the 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 program which is fine it's probably the the way to do it and i think you could still like click on this one and this thing i want to see the sample and it will open up the sample which is kind of not exactly what what you want when you practice like if i wanted to open up another sample company file what you need to do is actually move this sample company file somewhere else so that QuickBooks doesn't remember where it is. And then you should be able to download another sample company file, right? But maybe we'll touch in on that later. But right now I'm going to go, I'm, I'm ready to create my own. No, I'm not going to create my own. I want to open an existing company file, the one that we just downloaded. So I'm going to go to that one existing company file it's in my folder there it is so i'm going to double click on it boom open it up porf avor you're opening i know i've seen that you told me last time i still know where i'm at here and so there it is and then my normal setup process when i open this up is i like having the home page open i like going to the view drop down and i get rid of uh the top of the screen and then uh, actually, I don't want to have that there at all. So I'm going to say hide icon bar. And then I say view open windows so I can see the windows on the right. And that's kind of like my setup process, which I will do uh, basically every time. And then we can see that uh, also, that if I go into my my data, I can close. Let, let me close this window out. It's not letting me close the window out okay so there we go i'm going to close i'm going to close this window out i'm going to maximize this window and then i'm going to toggle notice i can toggle back and forth i have this super zoomed in by going to my actual monitor size if i went back to 100 it looks like this which is very small uh, uh to see here so that's why if i zoom in i think 125 to me is is probably a, a good zoom in to kind of be working in but for for us to use it i'm going to go at 150 which will really zoom in although it could kind of distort things so so if things are a little distorted when you do a super zoom in then you can adjust and zoom back down okay so and just note that if i go into the uh, lists drop down for example and we look at our chart of accounts up top. We have our data in the chart of accounts already. If I go to my standard reports and go to reports and company file, profit and loss, 
and notice it's making it as of 1231 uh, or at the end of 2026. I'm going to start to put the actual data in next year where there's not any information in it. So for example, if I go to reports here, company file, profit and loss, it's doing it for the year of 2026. I don't know why. It, well, what it's doing, it's trying to pick a day like in the future, I guess, and work in the future. And I think the rationale for that is is that they can use the same sample company file without having to update it all the way out to 20, to 26, right? What I'd like to do when we do our practice problem is look at an income statement at least that doesn't have any data in it yet. So I'm going to go from 010127 to 123127 and you can see now we have a clean income statement and when we do our practice problem I'll just uh, work with this uh, income statement so next time what we're going to do is uh, list out basically the issue in terms of this prepayment issue by looking at the home page and then thinking about what the normal process is what's the issue with the prepayment and then we'll go through the actual normal process and compare that then to uh, the old deposit or prepayment way that we used to deal with this and the way you might still deal with it if you didn't have enterprise and then we'll go through the new updated prepayment feature which has a which has that liability account that uh, will be set up so we'll continue on with this in future presentations now that we're set up with the sample company